I have no idea how to start this, but hello. I have been putting off, not like putting off this video, but I've been quite apprehensive about filming this video for quite a long time. Because if you guys have been long time watchers, you will know that three months ago I put up a video, which I'll try and put here, but if I can't do that, I'll link it below, saying that we are buying a flat in London. It had been a long process, two years to let you know kind of quickly, and I put that up on the day that we were exchanging, and I was so excited and couldn't wait to take you guys along. Basically what happened later that day is it never went through, the um, property purchase actually fell through. It was really sad, I cried for about a week, not because of the actual falling through, but it was just a really sad circumstance on the seller's side and um, we'd got quite invested in them. They're an old couple, they've been there for years, we were a first time buyer. Uh, we went around kind of often, which you should never do, I know why, why people say it now, but we were quite invested in them and it was just a very sad situation and we weren't um, we weren't angry with them at all and yeah, so it never went through. Obviously we were absolutely devastated. We'd sold a lot of our stuff, we had packed, we were near moving day. Um, so it was a very strange time and I felt like I didn't want to put it online for a long time because I didn't quite know what to say and we were so confused with what we were doing and what, like how, whether we were going to unpack. We'd told our landlady that we were moving out and we were worried that we were gonna be homeless. It, it was a very, very, very stressful time. And a time that I'm so glad is over now. And I mean, so many people said to me at that point, it's all meant to be and something amazing will happen. And I didn't believe it then, but three months on and it has. So we took a total 360. We decided to step back for a little while, kind of, take a, about a week's break and then um, we started looking at things again. Originally, just to give you guys a bit of a background, we are from the southwest. we're currently living in London if you're new to the channel and um, we had looked at properties in the southwest to perhaps rent out whilst we were in London and then um, to move back one day when we were done with London. Uh, but we kind of decided against that, we were keeping an eye on the property down there and whilst all of this were happen it was happening, our absolute kind of dream property came up. This was quite a while after we lost the property. A lot happened in between that time. We viewed more properties up here and it just felt like absolute fate. It's like in the most dream location on the dream street um, and it was just perfect for us. It was over our budget so we didn't think it was within stretch at all and we actually were down for a weekend and we saw it on the Saturday evening and we had to put a note through the seller's door and just say please we'd love to view it on Sunday and we viewed it with her obviously we fell totally in love like you do with anything over your budget and came back and couldn't stop thinking about it and yeah it, it's a do wrapper and obviously it was over our budget we didn't expect her to take our offer but it just so happened that it was literally the perfect situation she was desperate desperate to move before Christmas and we were first time buyers which I think in that area is quite unusual for that type of property um, and obviously we were rented so we were ready to go and so she took the offer. Uh, we were shocked, we didn't expect it had to happen and we did not expect to move before Christmas. Really funny but my family every year, my mum does these little notes which put in envelopes on New Year's Eve which is like a prediction for the year and wishes for the year. And our prediction for this year, because we've been looking for so long, we were ready to buy a house. I was like, without a doubt, we will be buying a house this year. It's gonna happen. Um, my my family put loads of other things, like we put like political things on there and other boring stuff, but and like a lot about family things, like what's gonna happen, somebody's gonna get a dog, that kind of thing. Um, so we were sure that we were gonna buy a house. And when the fat fell through, oh, we were just like, it's not happening. And it is, we're moving on the 22nd of December crazy um i think the whole purchase of the property has gone through in about like two and a half weeks so it's been exceedingly quick we had our mortgage in place so it's just absolutely flown through the lady's going to rent it it's crazy how quickly it has gone so we go home every year for christmas anyway but this time we're packing up for good and moving obviously with that we are totally relocating i had a job up here this wasn't my full-time job um, so I've left that, I was really sad, I cried, um, 
again, there's been a lot of tears <laughs> through this moving process and the whole relocation process. Um, but yeah, obviously that's a huge change for me and when we go back, I'm gonna be doing this full time, which is crazy. So you'll be seeing loads more of my face on here. I'm gonna be vlogging and obviously doing loads more of my kind of fashion styling videos as well, which is super exciting. Yeah, so our lives are totally changing right before Christmas. I've not bought one present and it's the 18th of December. So the plan for today was to get you guys up to speed with what is happening. I've obviously been talking too long because my camera just cut out, but I'm packing a suitcase with stuff for the Christmas period and then gonna do my makeup and we're like, we're very nearly there and very organized when it comes to stuff like this. So hopefully we'll be ready for me on Saturday. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, and I'm just looking forward to taking you guys along on a bit of a different pro process and a bit more of a country life as well as London. We're going to be spending a huge amount of time in London. Um, both my partner and I are going to still be working in London a lot, so you'll see us here. Not a lot as far as like my feed and Instagram, I don't think it's going to change, but yeah. Let's get going because we need to pack, we also need to eat and can't wait for some food. Before we pop to brunch, let me show you what we've been living in because it is... By the way, it's just a state, you guys know. You've moved before, I'm sure. This is my filming room, or was filming room. So basically most of our boxes are in here. And I actually need to um, make a little bit of space because my brother and his girlfriend are supposed to be staying down here to have a sort of move on Saturday. This is the stuff that I've been collecting that I think I'm gonna need over the Christmas period. I've still got clothes in all of these, but the boxes are coming today. We've actually emptied out the wardrobe over here. Um, we're really luckily our landlady is buying those off of us so we don't have to move them which is going to be amazing because well number one they're just a pain to move and number two ikea stuff never ever ever when you um flat pack it never goes back as well as before and then the living room is pretty much the same sorry that i never gave you guys a bit of house tour um because this was rented and we <laughs> watched the last video we were only supposed to be here for four months we just never really did it as we would it was a beautiful flat but we've got our tv on a box down here and this is supposedly all of the stuff that is going to be going in my car i've put away my advent calendar already which is kind of sad and then the bathroom is pretty much empty i've been trying to clean things up as we go hallway is an absolute nightmare trying to walk through it it's really really difficult um yeah Bathroom just looks so echoey, so, so echoey. Um, kitchen is a nightmare. I'm cleaning the oven today as well. You know, we've got all of that kind of stuff to do. And our bed is not made and on the floor in here with little Barry. I don't know how we're gonna, how do you transport plants like this? He's making me look so green, but um, yeah, let's get brunch and then we need to get on. Our favourite avocado and French toast to share. We both got an avocado and I got hot chocolate, which I basically already had. I really don't want to be home from brunch, if I'm honest something about getting out when you're packing that you just don't want to come back i think i'm gonna pop you guys here and um pack my suitcase because i can't actually pack my wardrobe right now because i don't have the boxes or get on with any other bits like that so hopefully i can make enough space on this floor here to pack this suitcase but um yeah right now it's not looking so good I think you're gonna to need to be down here to actually see what I'm putting in. And I'm not very good at packing for things like Christmas because my family do so many different things. So we could be on the moors or we could be going to a really nice meal. So I need everything from wellies to heels over that kind of period. And it's just really hard to pack. But this time it's gonna be even harder because we're also gonna be stripping wallpaper and like physically moving. So. I need something for every single occasion. So weird, like I've never packed for something like this. I've just remembered that actually on moving day, which is gonna seem so ridiculous, we had no idea that we were gonna move when we booked it, but we're going to the ballet, we're going to see Hansel and Gretel. So I need to pick something out to wear for that first because obviously it's gonna be a bit awkward if I'm in my jeans and like scruffy tops like I am at the moment. I actually need to change out this one, this is a nice cashmere one which I shouldn't be wearing around the house 
I'm thinking, oh, I don't know whether to wear that one for Christmas Day though. It would just be so easy if I could wear that one because I've got left my burgundy boots out. I could wear it with that nice cream coat and then that's that job done. I don't have to faff with tops and bottoms. I think that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna leave that one out. This dress has been the best dress. I wear it for so many occasions. It's just really easy to throw on and I actually got sent, let me show you, some really nice boots um, the other day. They're actually a little bit dusty. These burgundy ones here from Charles and Keith, they're so gorgeous and they match perfectly with that dress, not that you can really see. So I'm gonna keep that out, wear that for the show. And then let me, I think I'll show you up here actually what I am keeping kind of for the Christmas break. Keeping this mango coat out just for smart things, like with that one, it will go with absolutely everything. My white company, roll neck jumper, I love this one, it's so nice. Mint Velvet really kindly sent me this green coat, which I just love, I've been featuring them a lot, you guys know that I love them, and they got in contact and sent that, which is just lovely. My cords, um, <laughs> couldn't not keep this one out, guys, you know how much I've been wearing it. It's dressed from H&M, then I've got a nice, top from coast for kind of more festive times sparkly skirt maybe around the christmas period for some meals this skirt here i love because you can kind of look semi dressed up but at the same time it's really comfy i'll be pairing that with one of these kind of creamier knits over here another pleated skirt again i think i can dress this one up and down for the christmas period then i've just got some black skinny jeans my top shot ones um, my AG jeans and also some more Topshop, just easy jeans. And then when I did my wardrobe clear out, I said to you guys, oh, I'm going to wear those velvet trousers this year and then maybe get rid of them. So I'm wearing them, I'm keeping them out. Blazer, just in case, again, smart kind of things. Then I've got here my two Jaeger, put those together. Cashmere jumpers, a white company top I've had for years, but I just love it. This Reese one I've had quite a while, but it's kind of like, my Christmas jumper, it just looks really pretty on. And then I've got so many just like white creamy knits. I just find these so useful. This one I may, I featured this one before, I may wear that on Christmas day, I haven't quite decided. Love this top, just some sparkles for the Christmas period. Again, just another pretty top around that kind of time. Another blouse, have to have a stripy top. Another blouse, so many blouses. We, I feel like there's so much going on at Christmas time. And then, yeah, just more plain white. You guys can tell, so many plain white kind of tops and jumpers to go with all of these things and just be really comfy. So that's all of my, like, normal stuff. And then I've also ordered some tracky bottoms and stuff which are being delivered to my mum's house this week. She's gonna bring them around when we move. They're helping us move in at the other end. So I can't wait to see them and I can't wait to be closer to them and see them on a more regular basis. Oh, shoes wise, what am I gonna take shoe wise? Shoes are a lot harder, I think. I've actually packed my wellies already, which I'm kind of regretting because I think I'm gonna keep out my Chelsea boots as my like walking, um, more like they're not scruffy but scruffy boots and then perhaps these gold ones for occasions mm, yeah haven't done so well on the shoe front i'm afraid definitely keeping out those burgundy ones oh and a few hats and scarves let's pack it up wardrobe boxes i think these are the wardrobe ones anyway we've had to order more normal boxes and some wardrobe boxes because we ran out so that should hopefully be able to do my clothing next and i also ordered these i love amazon we order so much stuff from amazon i'm hoping that these will be good for our like duvets and pillows on the last day i actually they had some really nice casing, but because we don't have a loft, I just got rid of it all. Um, which was a bit of a mistake now. Anyway, these look like they'll be fine. They had amazing reviews on Amazon. They're just like huge duffel bags. Just 
checking. They do look big enough because we've got to see the king bed. So that will definitely take our huge pillows. And also some more tape. Let's get, I need to get out of this jumper so that we can get going on the wardrobe boxes. I think I'm gonna make them in here because I'm running out of space absolutely everywhere. I like don't know where to put stuff. And everything it's getting a little bit bitty. So let's get going on the clothes. Hopefully I'll be able to get these open. Ollie's gone now. So it's just me packing up for the afternoon and I have a feeling it's gonna get quite dark soon. So I wanna get going on these. Let me get changed first. I'm gonna do that off camera though. <laughs> too sure if I've over crammed that too much but actually it looks like it's gonna fall down I mean it's slightly higher than it should be but that's pretty flat that's a lot flatter than I thought it would be with the hangers in so I am so pleased because that box has actually taken up more than I thought it would in that wardrobe so I'm not even sure I'm gonna need the full five three boxes down and I'm pretty much done apart from my shoes <laughs> I've just noticed actually I've hidden Ollie's Christmas card down here <laughs> So cute, that looks so much like Ollie as well. There's a better look. It looks a lot more like Ollie than I think it does me, but still it's got the brown hair. Correct, I think I'm gonna write that one now because else I'll probably forget. Done, and I actually thought that I would do a little Polaroid to remember the moment of me packing boxes whilst writing his card, moving into our first home together. It's moving day! We are off, I forgot to um, vlog but we've been getting going already. It's very early in the morning though. As you can see, it's still dark outside. We've been up since six to kind of get going on it and the boxes are very nearly in. I'm not sure it's all gonna fit in the van, but we're gonna give it a good go. So I'm out of breath, but I've been running up and down. Let me see if I can show you the van out here. There they are. This is my brother. <laughs> and we're just gonna stop for a drink. I think we've got most of it in. But then I'll show you what it looks like. We've also got a bath in there. And my brother and his girlfriend Nate full of helping. We've got matching um, striped tops on. Still going on the last chair. It was a mistake, it's a mistake taking them down. Don't take any of that water. Sorry. <laughs> April, <laughs> definitely <laughs> just spent, I should have done a little time lapse of you. It was about an hour <laughs> taking down one set of stairs. But you know, it's the health and the thought that counts. We're having donuts. This is my brother. Do we look the same? I got the looks. <laughs> So that we don't like twins. We are having, of course, donuts. Um, I'm sorry, I'm doing really badly at showing all of this because we've basically eaten two of them already. But it's tea break and then decide what to do. We're actually on what time we're on? Nine uh, o'clock. Quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. God, and it's nearly all in, so we've done really good. About 11 o'clock, absolute dream team. We did so well. I've just been taking a few Polaroids in the house, and it's actually looking like it's not going to be bad traffic on the way back. Probably about three hours, so we probably will unpack when we're back there, which I'm so excited for. Just look how big this room is absolutely insane. I'm going to mix this room probably the most of all. It's just, I mean, I would have done it totally differently if it was ours, but stunning big room. And here's the dream team. Oh my God, we're finished. Oh my God. <laughs> this looks an absolute mess, but it is quite well packed. And there's Barry and my bike, Belle. <laughs> it's all in there, as well as the bathroom suite, which we picked up the other day. Crazy. I don't know how we fit in so much in. Perfect, we're done. Finished. We're out. Right, let's go. We're out. Oh, my, my wallet. Let's do this. Uh, hit the camera. Go on, go and open the door together. Oh, there you 
footage from the rest of that evening unfortunately i've either lost the card or i have wiped the footage from the card but either way i'm just going to quickly catch you guys up now it's a good few days at least now basically that evening was just filled with loads of like love and warmth we had loads of family come around to view the house um we had far too many glasses of champagne and then we had fish and chips with my parents and jonathan and april it was just really nice we were super super happy just ecstatic to be in there and now I'm actually at my parents' house. I'm staying here whilst we renovate. Ollie is working away, so you'll be seeing him in the renovation videos. And the next one coming up is gonna be a pre-renovation house tour. So I'm really excited to show you guys what the house looks like, get your ideas on any plans for the renovations. And yeah, I just can't wait to take you on this journey. I'm gonna be doing two videos a week, hopefully a fashion one and a vloggy renovation one as well. Probably more fashion than renovation, but nonetheless so excited i hope you guys had a wonderful christmas and new year and i can't wait to get back into the rhythm of things sorry that i've been gone slightly i've also had a dreadful cold which i still have so i have such chipped lips and nose but anyway i'm not gonna carry on about my cold i will see you guys all in next week's video and i've missed you guys a lot so it's nice to be back bye <laughs>